We're here at the Portofino Hotel in Orlando, Florida. Tonight is primary night. The polls closed at 7 o'clock. The numbers are have all come in. They're being counted now. There's something that I wanted to share with you guys. It is a Giuliani signed baseball, which was left on my seat in Giuliani's campaign charter jet yesterday. They actually gave one to all of the members of the traveling press. And a lot of the reporters who have been with the campaign saw it as perhaps a gesture of good goodbye. It might be sort of a thank you token for covering him and perhaps an indication that this is, in fact, Giuliani's last stand. So let's go inside and check out how the numbers are doing and see what's going on with the campaign. Lord, I trust in you. It, this is actually quite a bit more media than we've seen in the past. The other members of the press keep asking, are you writing Giuliani's obit? Or I need to get started on, on my obituary. And there's definitely a sense amongst the reporters here that tonight is going to be the night that, that the campaign really unravels. As you'll notice, um, Fox News is, is infamous for being for supporting Giuliani, and of course the, the network is on tonight. I wanted to point out John Voigt, who has been following and stumping for Giuliani for the past for the past couple days. He's he's had some some colorful things to say. Um, for one, he compared Giuliani's stance on 9-11 to his battle against evil in Deliverance and actually compared his movie Karate Dog to Giuliani's battle against his opponents in this election. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Karate Dog, but in it, John Voight battles an animated dog that is skilled in karate. Giuliani's cousin, who has come all the way down from New York City to support the mayor. Are you guys optimistic? How do you think things are going to pan out this evening? We're always, opt We're always optimistic. We're Giuliani's. Okay, how do you know the mayor? Excuse me? How do you know I know him when he was a prosecutor, federal prosecutor in, the United, in, New, in New York. And um, Ace Plumbing, who was one of my clients, which was John Gotti. And when they had to repossess his cars, I had to pick them up. So I dealt a lot with the U.S. Attorney's <laughs> Office, so I became a good friend with Giuliani. <laughs> so you you were uh, pleased with the way that he dealt with uh, the repossession of John Gotti's cars? Yes. Free again and again and again. How about the fact that Governor Charlie Chris decided not to endorse Giuliani? Oh, he's going to get my words in an email. I'm completely upset. Have you already composed this email? Can you shed some light on what uh, yeah. words you might have for the governor? Don't expect me and my 434 drivers, truck drivers that have in this state to vote for you in the next election. Ooh. Them's fighting words. Can you talk to us a little bit about what sort of beverages people are ordering tonight? Have you been serving a lot of cocktails or wine or beer? What are people in the mood for this evening as Giuliani's results come in? Yeah, I would say mostly cocktails this evening, some wine. Everyone's been really, really nice. I can't say I've been very busy. So have people been drinking a lot or perhaps should they be? I think everyone has drank very responsibly. Are you getting good tips? Very good tips. I'm happy to say that Republicans tip very well, and we appreciate that. 